So this is the 114 scale CAT 730 articulating dump truck. Uh, this is what's kind of been on my build table here over the last couple weeks. Um, got to finish, well, I guess last month or so. I got to finish up here a couple weeks ago. I am just absolutely loving this model. Uh, this is 100%, I, I shouldn't say 100%, 98% 3D printed. Um, it's got rubber tires on it. It's got linear actuators. Um, you know, some clear plastic from, like, actually I use packaging material. Um, but this design is, you can get it off of Colts 3D. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Lassie uh, Angler, I guess, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his last name, but his profile on Colts 3D is Bernie222. Um, and he has a number of 114 scale construction models. Uh, this was the first one I built of it, and I was thoroughly impressed with his designs, uh, the files. Um, uh, he's kind of build instructions. He's got uh, he's got li material lists. Um, just kind of a quick breakdown in parts alone, like the the Lesu tires, uh, the linear actuators, uh, like the the LED lights on the front. There's a so there you can see the lights in the front and kind of the four wheel off road LED lights mounted up top. Uh, the hood pops off. Oh, hood falls off, and you got plenty of room for electronics. I don't have a sound kit in here, but if I wanted a sound kit, there is certainly enough room in there. I've got three ESCs in there, one for the drive motors, uh, one for the linear actuators for the dump bed, and then one for the um, steering motor. Uh, I'm right now running a 2S LiPo. I'm actually going to upgrade that to a 3S to get a little bit better speed out of this. Um, it works fine. It's just a little slow driving, but plenty of room down inside there for when you're wanting to mount electronics and like if you want to put a sound card and all that. A, uh, a six drive motors uh, in there. Uh, there's a, a motor, actually a motor very similar to this for the steering, kind of this is a strong steering upgrade. Um, so I got one of those in there for the steering actuator, um, but virtually all 3D printed. Uh, I took probably, I have three Crowdy Ender 3s. Uh, one's the Ender 3, one's the 3 Pro, and one's a V2. And those things worked non-stop 24-7 uh, for a little over a week. I would usually set my prints up to last about 12 hours. So I'd start them in the morning, start them at night, uh, and just keep them going, keep them knocked out. Uh, when I started building this, I was going to make a video, but I just got too excited. And I just started printing, and as soon as something would come off the printer, I would kind of I really wouldn't do much prep to the file to the part itself. You know, get all the supports off, clean up the edges, uh, and then uh, put some primer on it. Once the primer is on it and dried, then I have a couple cans of cat yellow paint. Uh, and so I did spend a little bit of time sanding out the hood. I want the hood to look nice, so you don't really see a whole lot of print lines in the hood. Uh, every other part you can see some print lines. Um, I printed basically everything white except for the black pieces. I just printed those in black and so I didn't need to paint them. Um, and then again, uh, primed and painted all the parts and then assembled it. Uh, from the time I started printing, I went ahead that night and ordered all the parts off of AliExpress. Uh, he has links with everything. I probably spent around $350 US on all the parts off of AliExpress. Um, that is not including a radio receiver or transmitter. Uh, I had those on hand. I used a transmitter from previous models and I have spare uh, receivers that I just keep here for when I build a new model or something like that. Um, but again, way impressed with this. The door opens up. It's got pretty high detailed interior. Um, I got some lights on the front, lights in the front and the hood, uh, lights on the back. So let's just give a quick overview. Like I said, the door does open up here. I don't really have anything holding it open or holding it shut. Um, pretty detailed interior. I did a little bit of painting in there. Um, printed the interior gray and then painted some of the accent pieces black and white uh, to kind of give it a little bit of a look. Uh, obviously there's a seat in there where the, the Tamiya truck driver can fit in there. Um, I'm kind of looking for other people to print, whether it's uh, males or females, just something other than the, the stock Tamiya driver. So but that's pretty cool. Uh, was able to cut the decals out on my wife's Cricut. I've used that a number of times with a number of different models. 
Uh, and uh, lastly, also provides the files you need. They're in a silhouette format, so I did have to convert to like a PDF so that I could bring them into Cricut Design Space. Um, so you see a logo here. I got my, uh, one of my buddies has a bulldozing activating company, so I put his logo on there. He has a, a haul truck very similar to this. Let me kick this on here. And so we'll get the uh, bed dump in here. Got the little chain hooked up to the tailgate, so the tailgate automatically opens up as the bed is dumping. Got the mud flaps on there, and it just turned out really well. You can see a lot of layer lines in the front of this. I really didn't care about layer lines there, but I did try to smooth out along the edge here uh, where the decals would be. I didn't spend a whole lot of time trying to get layer lines out of this entire print because it is a whole truck. It's not a show truck. So I probably spent a total of two or three hours doing body work. Um, this bed is obviously really long. Um, it can't print on my Ender 3s, and so I did have to... He actually gives you the design as a full bed if you have a, a build space big enough, or bed space big enough. He also gives it broken up, and so I printed the piece that's... Uh, that separated out. Also got some LEDs down in the back there. Uh, and then the axles articulate and pivot. And these, they just, they look awesome. And the, the look of this is really great. Uh, there's a thrust bearing inside the articulation there so it actually can twist side to side uh, as it's spinning so it really articulates like the real model. So again, I'm just thoroughly impressed with this. Uh, this was the first model that I I purchased. Um, you do purchase his files off Colts 3D. Uh, I think they're like, well, right now on Colts 3D, the list price is $57 and they're on sale for $43. And so I know I, I think I bought them when they're on sale for about 40 bucks in that in that range. Um, but when you see the level of detail he puts in the models, it is worth every penny. So I will uh, drop the link for this uh, Colts 3D link in the description below. But this was just an absolutely cool truck. And you really don't need anything special. Um, I know someone's going to ask me to, hey, can you print parts for me? And technically speaking, yes, I would. And here's how I'm going to do it. If someone wanted me to print the parts, I am literally going to go buy another Ender 3. And I would print all the parts. And then I'm going to keep the Ender 3. Because uh, at Micro Center, actually, I'll, I'll link uh, uh, the coupon code in in the description but micro center has a special that they'll sell you an ender 3 v2 for 99 dollars and so if anyone wants me to print these parts for them i'm going to charge just a uh, a base fee for printing but you're going to buy another ender 3 and so that kind of sounds kind of selfish but what i'm getting at is do this yourself it is very easy to print um an Ender 3 is about $100. You'll have about $100 in filament. I think I had at least four spools of filament. So at around $20 a spool, uh, you can get uh, filament for a little less, a little more, depending on the quality. This is just standard PLA. Um, PLA is really easy to print. Uh, there is PLA Plus, which has some, some additives, and there's PETG. And there, you know, there's a number of different uh, filaments you can print in. Um, because I'm not... These are pretty much shelf queens, and the shows that I do go and play weren't out in the sun. Uh, if this was out in the sun, uh, if this baked in the sun, you would see this stuff start warping and melting. Uh, you want to keep it fairly cool. Uh, I have had PLA parts that are sat in uh, the sun and get a lot of heat. Well, they, they will melt and warp. But this is currently what I just finished up, and now I'm going to show you what I'm working on next.